The eat the frog technique is an approach to prioritizing tasks by tackling the most difficult or unpleasant task first. This strategy is based on the idea that it's better to get the most challenging task out of the way first, allowing the rest of the day to be easier and more productive. It helps to motivate people apparently. I hope you're one of those people. Welcome to the Eat the Frog template. Link is in the description to the Gumroad. You can download it. It's free. $2. Donate that if you want. Otherwise, it's free. Uh, I've been getting quite a few donations on my Gumroad and I just want to say uh, from my other templates and I just want to say thank you. That's very nice. Uh, to everyone who's donated, I really do appreciate it. It's going to keep motivating me to make more templates like this. Speaking of this template, let's let's go through this template. Here's the first bit. There are three types of tasks. If you've watched my uh, Cal Newport video, then you know there's kind of three types of tasks in life. There's the deep work, there's the shallow work, and there's kind of the outreach stuff when you're contacting other people and emailing and stuff like that. I'm kind of using the same premise here. We have, for the deep work, they're the frogs. They're the, that's the difficult tasks you don't want to do. Then we have the shallow work, known as the tadpoles. It's kind of the easiest stuff that you can do. It doesn't take as much, you know, it's not as cognitively demanding as they say. And then we have the um, outreach or like the, the emailing and the, and the stuff like that. The kind of easy stuff where you're, you're just uh, reaching out to people quickly, which I've called across the pond. So here's how this dashboard works. I'm going to go through it real quick. At the bottom here, we have your frogs. They're the things that need eating. So that might be, I, I've just got a few examples here. Update portfolio, fix contact form issue, go for a run. I've just written random examples. Your frogs, they're gonna show up down here. This is the difficult stuff. By the way, I made just some, some cute illustrations. If it loads, there we go. You can uh, download these. I've also made a blank one, so you can just write your own text. You simply drag and drop it into the to-do list and, and there it is, and then it will show up. These are the ones that you need to eat in the morning. At the top here, you have your calendar. If you are sub to this channel, by the way, can I just say thank you for the subscribers I'm getting. I'm at 407 in one month. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Up here, we have a calendar. As you guys know, I always say your day is your to-do list. That's why we don't do to-do lists. We actually assign tasks a certain day. However, I realized every single task that you come up with, you can't just, you know, assign it a day maybe immediately. So what we have is we have down here your tasks. And then these are the ones that don't have a date assigned to them. And then what you can do is simply drag and drop them to a day that you're going to do them. Let's just drag that one back. So you can just drag it back if you don't want to do it that day anymore. So it's a simple drag and drop system. If you think of an idea, all you do is you hit new. And then you can write here a, um, you know, all your tasks. So uh, what would be a deep work one? I don't know. Edit this video. That is a deep task for me. Uh, or an eat the frog, as some would say. So let's label that as a frog and uh, it doesn't have a date and it's not done. You'll see how that works later. What I can say is, okay, you know what? I edit videos on Friday, so I'm just going to simply drag it there. So now I know on Friday morning, this is the frog that I have to eat. So now let's say I've edited the video, right? I've done that Friday morning, awesome. If I hit done, I've got two views here, right? So we have this one showing all my tasks, but I've got another one that's showing not completed tasks. So what you would do is, I'm, I'm presuming, you'll work on not completed tasks. So let's just untick this, just so you can see. You'll be seeing this, okay, cool, here's your to-do list for the day. You're just going to go through by ticking them and then they disappear from this view. Cool, I've done, I've edited this video, tick, all of a sudden it's gone from this view. But if you're wondering what have I done today, you can go to all my tasks and then see it here. So it's a, it's a really intuitive way to work. And again, you can just drag and drop it like that, and it works super seamlessly. You're wondering why, what, what's this project thing here? So some of your tasks might be connected to a project, and I thought it might be useful to actually just do a connected database. So you can create this quite easily, and I'll, I'll show you how. So I've created two random ones. We've got grow my side hustle and run 10 kilometers. So let's just do another one to show you how it works. Grow my YouTube channel. Subscribe, by the way. Guys, I keep hinting at it. Come on, subscribe. So let's add maybe the camera emoji. So you have tags here. I've left this here in case you want to label different types of uh, projects in different categories. So I've left these blank for you to fill in, but that way you could also sort by category up here by simply creating, you would just press plus here. So then you can see this tasks come up. So these are actually all the tasks that are connected to this. So what I've done in this uh, table here 
is it's the same table, like the same information. All I've done though is right click and then hide in view because I don't want to see that. It's going to become a very, very long thing as I keep adding uh, tasks to it. So that's just hidden. So then uh, this tag, let's say, let's say grow my YouTube channel is part of passive income. Let's just do this example real quick. And this is also passive income. Run 10 kilometers doesn't belong on a passive income. So what I could do is say if this is the category, which is passive income. By the way, this YouTube channel is anything but passive income, but still. Then what we'll do is we'll just add a filter here. Add advanced filter where the tag contains passive income. So now you could be filtering your different uh, projects based on that, depending on how many projects that you have. You might not have that many projects, so I'll just delete this. However, that's just how to do it. So that way you know. Um, so here we go, delete that. Cool. So, and I can delete this view. Bear in mind, you're just deleting a view when you delete from a table like that. If you delete this guy, then you're deleting the whole thing. That's how uh, the projects work. Then tasks belong in a project. So as you can see, I'll just get rid of this one and show you how it works. Once you create a project, then you can link to, uh, you can link a task to a project. This will just help you stay organized in terms of uh, why are you doing it and how does it play into the grander scheme of what you're doing. So go for a run is going to link to one of your projects. So that will link to my run 10 kilometers or write cold email to that person. Okay, let's say that uh, is to do with grow my side hustle. I would click there. Cool electricity company. I do need to do that, but that is, that's not connected to a large a project or anything that's just a one-off task so when I feel like doing that or when I know okay you know what I have time on Friday I can simply just drag and drop that into that day so this kind of makes it less stressful in terms of uh, having to think of oh when am I gonna add this task when am I actually going to do this blah 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 you'll see all of your tasks here and then you can drag and drop them so another thing that I thought about is how maybe projects might have categories and you can label it as that same thing with tasks, we might want to know which kind of project does it go under. So at the top here, you can see all the tasks relating to the project one progress. Project one being grow my side hustle for this uh, example, and then project two progress being run 10 kilometers for this example. So you'll see all of the different tasks here, whether they're ticked or not ticked, so they won't get hidden from this view. This is just for you to quickly see how many have you actually done. And what you could even do is uh, do a percentage checked or something like that just to get a quick overview of the progress. And uh, yeah, I think labeling stuff as frogs across the pond, outreach stuff, tadpoles, you know, the easier tasks, uh, then that just helps you in terms of staying organized and knowing today the main thing I have to do when I wake up is update my portfolio or do this one assignment or write my new cover letter or whatever it is. Um, it just kind of helps staying organized by labeling stuff like that. And again, all of these guys are here. So edit this video has been added because I added it up here before. So these are actually all connected, uh, which makes it easy. This database, this database, and this database, they're actually the same database but uh, just displaying it in different views. So this is actually just showing the same thing, but as a gallery. This is showing these tasks, but as a table. This is showing the tasks as a calendar. So, and then we have a few different filters, as you can see up here. So this is a filter where only show the stuff where a date is empty. So if, there, if we didn't have that filter on that, we would see all the tasks that don't have a date on them. So that's the way that we're um, hiding all of that. And the same thing goes for up here. So we have another filter. This one, all my tasks, so it has no filter. And then this one here, not completed tasks, simply has a filter. And the one rule is where done is unticked. So to add an image to this, all you need to do is open up this. Let's say we want this one. Duplicate. Drag him in there, and then we have it in there. It's a simple way to do it, and I don't know, it makes it a bit more fun seeing all the frogs like this. They're less intimidating. So this is the Eat the Frog Templar. Uh, it's a short video, hope you like it. Again, link in the description. Donate $2 or free, or donate $10, don't do that, or donate $1 or whatever you wanna do. Uh, if not, it's free. Thanks again for the people who have donated. Thanks again for everyone subscribing. If you're not subscribing, why? That's so mean.